Hey there guys, my name is Luke. Welcome to this episode of the Outdoor Gear Review. It is time for another flashlight review and today I have two through night Catapult V6 flashlights. Now you may be wondering, Luke, why do you have two of them? And that's because the first one that I received did not work. It was defective. I received a second one which allowed me to troubleshoot the first one and it turns out the issue was not with the flashlight but with the battery itself. The Catapult V6 runs on one 26650 battery. I do not have any other flashlights which take this type of battery, so I could not troubleshoot if that was the issue or not until I got a second. Anytime that I went to try to charge this battery, it would not work. There's an indicator right here which indicates like your power level. If there is an issue with charging, it flashes purple. In my case, it would always be purple. Actually, I would say 99.9% at one point in time, I was able to get this thing to charge for, I think it was roughly an hour. It was just long enough to turn it on, and then it died. With that being said, I have been testing out its replacement for multiple months now, and I am ready to give you all my honest feedback, just like I do with every product which I review here on the channel. So, what do I think about the Thru-Night Catapult V6? I like it. This is a good flashlight. The value is very good. The performance is very good. It is a good flashlight. Feels good in the hand. The aluminum construction is excellent. But that doesn't mean that I absolutely love it. And that's because more than anything else, this is a little bit boring. This flashlight is just a little bit boring in my opinion. The biggest issue facing Through Night as a company is what I refer to as TikTok updates. And this flashlight continues with that pattern. It continues with the same form factor and style that you see with all of their products. Whereas other flashlight companies really are going out of their way to innovate, to change, Through Night really has stayed the course. Now, if you're looking for something different, this flashlight and Through Night is not for you. If you're looking for a very solid, very good, reliable performer, then Through Night definitely checks off those boxes because Through Night is definitely known for their quality. To be honest, the issue with the battery here is surprising because I've never had an issue with a through night battery before. In fact, I have plenty of batteries from through night, some of them being over five years old. Every single one of them has continued to run very, very well. I have personally had issues with Phoenix batteries, Olight batteries, and so on. This is the very first with through night. Now I have had issues with through night flashlights. I would say out of the dozens and dozens that I've tested out, I may have had three issues over the years. Not much by any means. Anyway, with that being the case, guys, let's go ahead and take a look at the Catapult V6. Let's start with what you get in the box. You get the flashlight, which we will talk about in just a minute. You get the box here, which is traditional through night. This flashlight comes with a good quality holster. In this little bag, you have a lanyard, some additional O-rings, and so on. You also get a micro USB charging cable, and that is because this flashlight is rechargeable. You can charge the battery through this port right here. The port is covered up with this rubber tab. You have one button right here. Push to turn it on, push to turn it off. Hold it down to cycle through the different modes. Double tap for high mode, and so on. Of course you get instructions, warranty information, and so on. Now with the Catapult V6, as you all can see, this thing is one hell of a thrower. On the turbo setting, you were looking at 1700 lumens. And this thing can throw incredibly far roughly 750 meters, which is very impressive. This is IPX rated, and when it comes to the different modes, you have turbo, high, medium, low, firefly, and strobe mode. The turbo mode is 1700 lumens, as I mentioned before. High, 950. Medium, 180. Low is 22. Firefly is half a lumen, and the strobe mode is 1200 lumens. When it comes to the battery life, not bad at all for this flashlight. Because of the large size battery, you get quite a bit of juice. On the highest setting, you were looking at 150 minutes. At 950 lumens, you were looking at 165 minutes. On the medium setting, you were looking at nine hours, which is very impressive. The low setting, which is 22 lumens, you were looking at 62 hours. For Firefly, 41 days. Strobe, you're looking at 180 minutes. For the money, you are getting a lot of flashlight, even though it is a little bit boring in regards to innovation, looks, and change. But when it comes to performance, for $75, it's top-notch. It is top-notch. 
Not only are you getting the flashlight that is rechargeable, you're getting the battery as well. The fit and finish is excellent. The size is not bad by any means. When it comes to the weight, including the battery, you are looking at 10 ounces. That's not bad. That does include the battery. You know, for something that has this much power, that's not bad in the weight department. Yes, this will get hot on the highest setting, and it does downstep after roughly two and a half minutes. Let's talk about charging for a minute. Not bad at all. Roughly three and a half hours from dead to full. This, in my opinion, makes a great search and rescue flashlight because it is so powerful, it throws so far, it puts out so much light. And also, you can replace the battery if you need to. That is very, very important for a search and rescue flashlight. You have three or four of these inside of your pack, you switch them out as need be, and you continue on with the search. For law enforcement, this is an excellent flashlight. Let's talk a little bit more about this flashlight. It does break down into three components. You have the head, you have the body, and then you have the tail cap. You have rings around both ends, nice threads, excellent quality, good size battery, that's for sure. 26650, 3.7 volts. So to wrap this up, for less than $100, this is a great flashlight. Very good performer. If you guys have any questions for me, make sure to email me. Make sure to stay tuned to the Outdoor Gear Review. When you subscribe, make sure to hit that bell so you're notified when new videos come up. Lots of flashlight reviews are coming up. Brutally honest, as always. I even have some products which scream innovation, cutting-edge stuff. Everyone, take care, strength and honor. See you guys around.